In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up Kubernetes. Um, so, first of all, we need to start the Kubernetes master. Kubernetes meet. And then you need to provide the, the IP address of the master node. So in this case, it's it's a local machine. So on this subnet, the IP is as follows: one on two one six eight zero two. And you also need to provide the network IP for the pods. So the pods are going to have IPs of this type, 10, 2, 4, 4, and then these are variable. Okay, so let that launch. Okay, so once it launches, you need to save this command here because you're going to need to use that on the worker nodes. So right now, if we do kubectl get pods all namespaces. Oh yeah, you also need to copy the config file from the Kubernetes directory into the local directory. Okay, so now you can do this and see these are the pods. And see, we have core, D core DNS pods and they're pending. And if we look at the description, describe pod, and then check this one out. We see that okay. Well, basically, the reason it's not ready is because we need a a CNI, so it's a network interface plugin, and the choices are. We can use Weave, WeaveNet, or we can use Flannel. So we're going to use Flannel in this case because that's, from my experience, that seems to be the more reliable um, plugin. So we can apply this configuration file. Okay, so now if we do kubectl get pods, we see that we have a new pod called final. And if we wait a little bit, we see that these these now start up. Okay, so now on the worker node, we need to run the command that we just saved. Okay, so let's see what was it. this one. So this is the worker node. It needs to be a sudo. Maybe 
this. Okay. So I should say pseudo, right? Okay, so now that that started, we can go here and check our notes. And see, we have a new node. So eventually that should turn ready. If we check game pods, then we see that we have two extra pods, one for flannel and one for a proxy. And these are specific to this new node. So if we check nodes again, we see that it's ready. Okay, so we can label the node as a worker uh, using this label command. Okay, so now it's a worker. Okay, so now we can install the Kubernetes, Kubernetes dashboard. So if you apply this configuration file, then it should install it. Okay, so if we check the pods, we see that we have two new pods here. Okay, so they're running. So now we can do kubectl proxy and that's going to allow us to um, view the interface in a browser. So if we go to this, um, this location here, then we need to log in. So in order to log in, we need to set up the um, the secret. Okay, so to do that, we need to create a service account, and we need to do cluster role binding. And now, if we do kubectl get secrets. And we see these two secrets, so we're looking for this one. So kubectl describe secret. So this is going to be our login token. So if we copy that and then do proxy again, then when we go here, and we enter the token, we see our dashboard. So these are our notes, and these are our namespaces, and we can do a overview of everything. So so there you go. That's how you set up. Uh, personal Kubernetes network and of course if you have more machines I, I only have two machines here but if you have more machines then you can add more workers okay that's it